Hello and welcome to Cryptic Change. Today we're going to be looking at the DeFi platform Atlantis Loans where you can both supply and borrow money and then utilize that to make even more money. And full disclosure, Atlantis Loans actually contacted me to uh, ask about making this video and uh, offered to compensate a little bit, which I am happy to do as it is a really cool platform with lots of great features. And I'll tell you all about it as soon as you hit that like and subscribe button. But first, I also have to make the obligatory warning because doing all this DeFi stuff does come with certain risks. Like the platform can get hacked or someone finds an exploit or uh, God forbid the devs do a rug pull or even you do some tiny mistakes yourself and end up losing your own money. So whenever you're tampering with this stuff, don't start out with large sums. Try with just a tiny bit first like I'm going to be showing you today just to get used to the platform before you start putting some serious money in. And for this tutorial, you're going to be needing three things. You're going to have to have MetaMask installed, you're going to have to add the Binance Smart Chain, and you also need some BNB on your MetaMask account. And if that all went way over your head, then I also have a separate tutorial where I show you just how to set all this up in easy to follow steps. But now, finally, onto the actual tutorial. Atlantis Loans can be found at the website atlantis.loans, and uh, they like to describe themselves as a, a simple and a clean platform, which means they want Atlantis to do a few things and do it very well. And I like this approach very much because too many platforms out there are trying to do everything at once. And I personally, I much rather enjoy specialized platforms akin to your uh, local boutiques as opposed to huge shopping malls so where nobody really has any specialized skills. So when you come onto the Atlantis platform, the first thing you're going to be met with is this here dashboard. And right below there it says circulating, it says the number of the ATL or Atlantis tokens, which is the native token to the platform currently in circulation. And the cool thing here is that this is actually a really low number. You know a lot of these other platforms, they have their uh, trillions and billions and uh, quadrazillions, which I find is totally unnecessary. I much rather enjoy when one single token is actually worth a little bit. And as you can see here, one ATL or Atlantis token is actually worth $18.4. And if we were to check out the CoinGecko for this coin, you could see that the market cap is currently $6 million, which is not much at all, and also tells you that there's huge potential for growth here. And as currently there's just a little bit more than 200,000 ATL tokens available, at max there can only ever be 6.5 million of these babies. So if this were to really take off, then you stand to make a sizable profit with just owning a few of these. And if you wanted to invest in this, all you have to do is click the buy button right here and it will take you straight onto PancakeSwap where you can make a purchase of the Atlantis token. But you can also get them by earning them, but more on that later. First we're gonna go through the other buttons here, there's a little light switch which can switch between night and day mode, of course all the cool kids always choose night mode, and then is the all important connect wallet. So you're gonna be wanting to hit that and like I said I am gonna be using MetaMask for this tutorial, so we click that and boom I'm now connected. And as you can see here, there's a few more stats about my current investment on this platform. Just have a few dollars here for demo purposes, but after a while, once you start using this a bit more, you will see much more things happening over here. But before that, I want to drag your attention all the way up here again, because there's actually another little nifty feature. If you were to click this icon over here, it will bring up your MetaMask pop-up, which asks if you want to add the Atlantis token to your wallet. And then we can find it all the way on the bottom. Boom right there. And this little feature to add the token like that is really helpful and this whole platform has it for basically all the tokens they supply. And it makes it so much easier than having to search up the right uh, hash and uh, yeah, spend time on that. So this does it all for you. Really nice feature. And they also have this cool notification bell, which you can enable to get continuous messages on Telegram about what is going on with your borrow limit, etc. And also they have the site in a few different languages. I don't know any of these, so I'm just gonna stick with English. Now, moving on down a little bit here on the dashboard, we see the daily supply and borrow limit, or the total volume locked. And as you can see, there's always uh, heaps more supply than borrowed, of course, because this is an over-collateralized platform. And moving on here to the right, there's also some recent liquidations, meaning those who did not manage to keep their loans afloat. So here's someone lost, Jesus, $93,000, oh my god. And here someone lost also a whole bunch. So that's got a burn. Sucks to be them. <laughs> that's all I can say. But that's the name of the game we're playing here. And also a really cool thing I like about this platform is that it says the number of suppliers and borrows currently in the system. 
And many other platforms will only have the total volume locked number and not this uh, actual numbers of uh, active users. But right now you can tell that there's currently about uh, 1100 uh, people uh, active on the platform, which is uh, how many it requires to have the current price of the Atlantis token where it is today. But then you can also imagine if 1100 people is all it takes for it to be worth $18, Getting 10 times as many users or even 100 times as many is not actually that far-fetched. And just imagine what that would do to the price. And then next to that, we have the market distribution buttons, which we can push. It will show you how many Atlantis tokens are distributed every day and also how many are left. And at the current rate we're going, all the Atlantis tokens will be distributed in about seven years. However, the team is planning to do buybacks and putting some of the ATL tokens back into the protocol for future distribution, which will make sure that the token is distributed to more users for longer than seven years. But still, just like Bitcoin, these are only going to get more and more scarce. And as this is a really young platform, you have the opportunity to get in early. So down below here, we see how many ATLs are distributed for each of these various tokens. I'll get back to that later. You also have a list of reserves, which shows how much uh, spared cash basically the platform has. And these reserve uh, funds are also uh, controlled by the governance process, which all the users can vote on how they are utilized. More on that later. But below this again, we can see the total supply on the whole platform, 209 million. So that's something. And also how much is currently borrowed. And if you take this sum minus this sum, then you're going to end up with available liquidity. And you can also see the list of all the tokens available on the platform. And if you were to click any of them, you would get to see a whole bunch of more nerdy stats. The most interesting of all these would probably be this one, Collateral Factor, which is a bit uh, different from uh, each one. And here you see uh, for uh, BUSD, it's 80%, which means if you have $10 applied to the platform, you can use $8 to borrow with. Also below that again, you see the daily reserves for the last 14 days. And there's the usual links to the white paper, the medium and the audit. And uh, I browse through the white paper and I must say this is actually a nice one because reading different white papers can sometimes be a bit of a chore, I think. Yeah, sometimes they're so tech heavy and uh, you don't know what is going on. But this one was actually quite a nice read. It's all very easy to understand and they explain all what I'm talking about here now in much more detail. So if you want to get into the nitty gritty of things, definitely check that out. Now back at the main site, let's look at the audit. They currently just have one of them from uh, someone called Peck Shield, which is actually largely positive. The, they did uncover a few possible issues, but the great thing to note here is that the Atlantis team has been very quick to fix these issues, which is what you want to see from an audit. After all, it's perfectly human to make a mistake every now and then, but what matters is how fast you get around to fixing them when someone points them out. And what you don't want is lazy developers who keeps on saying manana manana. So if you want to invest in platform, it's always nice to at least uh, check out these all this just to see what it contains. And uh, to me personally, this one gave me much more confidence in the platform. And then finally, you have some more links to CoinMarketCap and DeFi Station, stuff like that. And you can connect with the community over at uh, Twitter. I always prefer Telegram, where there are many more nice people which can help you out with uh, any questions you might have. But let's go all the way back up again and onto the lending section, which is where the magic happens, as they say. The first thing you can see here is a little overview of my own private uh, balance of uh, $6. Yeah, I'm a high roller, what can I say? And they also have a couple of vaults where you could uh, add uh, some uh, Atlantis tokens or even Atlantis BUSD LP tokens. And this single token Atlantis vault gives you a good 125%, which is quite nice. So if you wanted to enter that, all you would have to do is go back up here again, click buy, go back over to PancakeSwap, connect your wallet, select MetaMask, and find which coin you want to purchase with. So here I have some BNB, let's say that. I would use that and I could click max here and see if I were to spend all my BNB, that would give me 3.3 Atlantis tokens. But remember though, if you want to do this, you should never ever use all your BNB because the BNB is of course also what you're using to pay fees with. So if you wanted to invest in this Atlantis token, then you would just type in here how much you want to buy. So I'm just going to put a uh, smaller number here just to show you. And it's going to say how many Atlantis tokens you are receiving. Okay, that's fine. We're going to swap that. It immediately says the price is updated. We're going to accept that and then confirm the swap. Waiting for confirmation is going to give you the MetaMask pop up. And we're going to scroll down, confirm that. Transaction submitted. And now it's just a matter of waiting. And there you see the confirmed transaction. And also we have a receipt. So now we can check the actual MetaMask. It should stay all the way in the bottom here. 
Yeah, here we go. 0 0.3 Atlantis tokens. Woohoo! Now let's go back to the Atlantis platform and we can scroll down here and we can stake these. So we're going to click that. And uh, as always, when you're doing DeFi stuff, the first time you do any transaction, you always have to approve it first. So we're going to click that. And yeah, confirm that, baby. It's going to take a little while. But there is the confirmation. And then hopefully, yeah, here we go. So now I can actually type in however much I want, but of course we only have a teeny tiny bit, so I'm just going to click max instead. It's going to say, do you want to stake all of this? Yeah, we do. Stake that. Again, we get the pop-up. We're going to confirm that. And we have to wait for it once again. Here's the confirmation. And now we are actually entered into the vault. And we will be making a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm making now two cents a day. That's nothing, but it's just to show you how this works. And if you wanted to enter this other dual token vault, then you would have to add liquidity first, where you would need to have a little bit of the Atlantis token and the same amount in BUSD as this is the 50-50 pool. So you could just add that and add that, and then you would get new LP tokens, and then you could stake and uh, enter into the vault. But if we were to scroll a little bit further down, then this is where it gets really interesting. Because this is where you can supply a whole bunch of different single tokens and earn interest on each of them. Which you can then use to take a loan and then you put that back into the supply again. And then take another loan and so forth. And actually make money from taking loans. And like you can see here, i am already tried to supply a little bit of BNB. So if we wanted to supply a little bit more of that, then I always click that. And you can say just how much you want to enter into the vault. But another little nifty feature I also want to direct your attention to is these little uh, sliders up here. If you were to click that, you can select how much uh, you want to be paying in fees. You can go with the standard uh, time, which will take 20 seconds or so. Or you can go with the fast approach, which will probably go a little bit faster, but cost double. And also, of course, the thing to take note here is that even though this says 10 guai, this is of course not Ethereum guai, but BNB guai. <laughs> There's a huge difference in that. But now, let's put it on standard for now, because uh, it's not a big deal for me how long this will take. Another thing to note here is that you will actually be earning interest in two different currencies. You will be getting some 2.29% in the currency you are currently supplying. But also on top of that, you will also be getting some Atlantis tokens, which would sort of be like dollar cost averaging into the Atlantis token automatically. And the thing to note here is that only the supply API is automatically compounded. The distribution API, though, has to be claimed manually and then be uh, paid out to your MetaMask account, where you can then choose to maybe reinvest it once again. But now, let's go on and actually supply some money onto the platform here. And we could, of course, again, click Max, and it will try to supply all the BNB I currently have in the wallet, which I do not want to do once again, because that would mean I have no more BNB to pay fees with. So again, I'm gonna just put 0 0.01 here. And as I already done this once before, I can now click supply. But if you haven't, then you have to approve it just like I showed on the Atlantis vault. But now we're going to hit that. It's going to give us the pop up like always. Again, we got to confirm this. And there's the confirmation. So now we just entered a little bit more BNB into the platform. And then comes the fun part, because once you have supplied a little bit onto the platform, then you can flip this switch and start borrowing. So we can click any of these tokens on the right hand side. Then we get this little pop up, which is really similar to the supply window. But here you can see it's a bit different because now it says this percentage is what you'll be paying to for this loan. While this is also what you'll be paid to take this loan. So you're actually paid to borrow money. How can it be that? So if you want to borrow now, we can again click max and it will ask you how much do you actually mean by max? You can go with safe max. We can go with the max 60, max 75, etc. And of course, the higher up you go, the bigger chance it is that you'll be liquidated, which is what you don't want, of course. So I'm going to go with the safe max and it'll tell me I can then borrow this much of the BTCB, which is uh, basically this many dollars. And I'll be using 40% of my borrow limit. So yeah, we're going to do that. Borrow gonna get the pop up again so we're gonna confirm that and while we wait for it we're actually gonna click this button because that will also add the btcb token to my metamask account so i'm gonna do that and here at the same time you can see we actually got the confirmed transaction meaning the loan has actually gone through so that we now possess the btcb in our metamask wallet it's not much but uh, that's all we need because now we can then use that again to make even more money because now you see over here it says, oh, I have a little BTCB in my wallet. So I can supply that too, which will be paying me more interest once again. And the cool thing now is that even though you flip this switch and uh, set this funds as collateral, you're still earning interest on these. So that's just great. 
And now I just uh, hit these uh, haphazardly, but you could of course look more uh, thoroughly into this and see for example the BUSD would supply you with 14%. So if you were to supply that and use that as collateral to get a loan for some of these other, like for example Link, which has really low percentage, then this would far outweigh this and you would be making a lot of money from taking a loan. And it's all up to you, of course, to find what strategy you want to use here. You can also, if you want to be a trader looking to short a token, then you can borrow some and then send that to an exchange, sell the token, profiting from the decline in overvalued tokens. And that's basically all there is to it. But before I go, I also want to show you back up again. There is, of course, the voting section, where from time to time there will be different suggestions, which uh, all the users can vote yes or no on. And you can even choose to delegate your voting to someone else, which I find really interesting, because in this whole DeFi scene, it's very often uh, difficult to stay on top of everything that's going on. So it might actually be nice to have someone taking care of this for you. For example, in the form of some alliance or even a union with other users, Uses, which you trust to take care of your best interest. And I don't know if this is actually a thing yet, but as this whole DeFi scene is still so fresh, I'm willing to bet that it won't be too long until we start seeing such things appear. And you can even create your own proposal, but that would require you to have at least 65,000 Atlantis tokens. And if we were to go out to uh, CoinGecko, we could always check out how much that actually is. So here we find it, Atlantis loans. And if we enter here, 65,000, that would be... <laughs> Okay, more than one million dollars, so yeah, not too many people could actually uh, create these proposals. But even if you were to have that kind of money, you would still need to have the rest of the user base actually vote yes to your suggestion. And also note that there is a time lock in place in this uh, system, so that if there were to be someone else who would make up some uh, outrageous suggestion that you totally disagree with, you would have a couple of days at least to withdraw your money from the platform, if you should so choose. And then the last thing I want to show you is also the liquidator, which is kind of cool. I've never seen this before, but what it is is basically shows you all the accounts which are close to liquidation. You see the health uh, number here, so the lower it gets, the closer they are. And when it gets to zero, basically anyone can click this and choose to liquidate the balance. And the one who does that will get a 7% bonus from the liquidated account. So you could possibly actually make a lot of money on this, especially if you're a clever guy that managed to create create a bot to do this for you, I guess. And that's basically the whole platform. But still, they're a really young project, so there's heaps of other stuff coming up, like uh, they're currently just on the Binance Smart Chain, but they're also planning to add the Polygon or a Matic Chain, and there's some NFT stuff coming, and there's been talk about some satellite dApps on top of the Atlantis ecosystem, which will then also share its profit with the Atlantis tokens. So that's all I have for you today, my cryptic friends. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, because I hope this was a helpful introduction to the Atlantis platform, and that it will be yet another tool for you to go out there and get so filthy rich. <laughs>